You know what they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. This especially rings true when perusing the aisles of your local thrift store. Hi, welcome back to Thrift Sift, the series where I take a closer look at games that I pick up at secondhand stores because they look interesting, bizarre, or a combination of both. Now, thrift stores are packed to the brim with discarded baubles that are just dying for their chance to become another man's treasure. This has perhaps never been truer than with 1992's Treasure Trolls game, published by Pressman Toy Corporation. Have we discovered a hidden treasure in Treasure Trolls? Or am I just trolling you with trash? We'll find out today on Thrift Sift. Today, we'll be taking a look at Treasure Trolls, the game of the... <laughs> what the... What? Who covered this box in caution tape? That would be me! Oh, why, it's Riley Knott, professor of molecular engineering, board game physicist, and author of the book, It's Not You, It's Meeples. What brings you to the show today, Professor? I'm here to warn you. The contents of that box are vintage 1990s. If you foolishly break its seal, then you will unleash an infection of late-century nostalgia upon this studio. What? Oh, oh rollerblading, crystal Pepsi drinking, Rachel haircut wearing plague, the likes of which have never been witnessed by mortal man. Huh? If you open the box, you'll let the 90s out. Professor, please. This isn't my first review of a board game based on mythological, deformed, collectible, cave-dwelling, gem-hoarding dwarves, and I doubt it's going to be my last. I think I know the necessary precautions to prevent nostalgic infection. The fact remains. Beware. Beware! Ow. Yes, I will most assuredly not start ignoring your advice as soon as I am done talking to you. Where was I? Oh yes, Treasure Trolls! Spawned during that period in the 1990s when people were really into hoarding anything marketed as collectible, but after everything that wasn't nauseating to look at was already taken, the Treasure Trolls hit the scene! Apparently with their face. And the Treasure Trolls Search for the Wish Stones game crammed these grotesque statuettes into a game that you could play with your children! while possibly, simultaneously, emotionally damaging them for decades to come. And speaking of the troll doll's target demographic, let's welcome V-Bug to the show, who will be assisting with our Search for the Wish Stones gameplay demonstration. Welcome to the show, V-Bug. Are you ready to play some troll dolls? I think so, but what's a troll doll? This. This is a troll doll. And what's the 1990s? Let's just... Let's just get to the gameplay demonstration, shall we? How to play Treasure Trolls Search for the Wish Stones In Treasure Trolls Search for the Wish Stones, players will pit their melted-faced gnomes against each other in a race to collect one of each wish stone, and then be the first to scale Wish Stone Mountain. The winner is rewarded by getting to make a treasure troll wish! Neither Pressman Toy Corporation nor Pair of Dice Paradise guarantee that players' insignificant troll wishes will come true. Now, as with any game obtained on Thrift Sift, my copy may be incomplete. However, the Treasure Trolls Search for the Wish Stones game originally came with the following components. One game board, 16 collectible wish stones. My copy did not include these, so I'm going to be using glass beads in their place. One wish stone jewel die. My copy did not include this, so I'll be substituting a numbered die in its place. Stands. My copy did not include these, but uh, you know what? I'm just going to pretend that it did so I can move on. And four treasure trolls, even though my copy somehow included six of them. That's, that's, that's kind of freaky. To set up the game, First, each player picks one of the little hobgoblins that perpetually looks like it's going to sneeze but is really thrilled about it, and places it on start. Put a number of wish stones equal to the number of players on each of the four treasure trolls on the board. Now, each treasure troll should be given a different color of wish stones. 
The game is now set up and ready for your miniature monsters to begin ransacking the countryside in their insatiable quest for ambition-based jewels. Now on their turn, players will roll the Wish Stone Jewel numbered die and move that many spaces along the path, following the direction of the arrows. Now when you reach a treasure troll space, STOP! Even if you have movement points remaining. Then, take one of the Wish Stones on that troll and end your turn. Players can only collect one of each color Wish Stone. Now, there are several special spaces on the board, each with their own unique rules, such as secret passages that connect to each other, switch spaces that cause you to swap spots with another troll, and the Flibber, Tigbit River, and Tree Clump spaces, where the litter of little leprechaun rejects must stop, stranded, turn after turn after turn, until they roll the proper number on the Wish Stone Jewel die. Because if it's one thing kids love, it's sitting in place while repeatedly rolling a dice in frustration. This is great! To win the game, first collect one of each of the four color wish stones, and then be the first player to get your little ogre back to Wish Stone Mountain. As an added bonus, the winner receives the honor of reciting the Treasure Troll Wish Chant printed on the back of the instruction pamphlet. And then, everybody makes a wish. Here, you won, so get to reading, so we can get to wishing. Uh, if that's okay, I don't really want to. Don't really want to? Listen, you entered into a contract with the universe when you began this game. And now, you must finish it. Read the poem. The will of the troll magics must be satisfied. Tinkle, twinkle, hair so fuzzy. Tinkle, twinkle, the leaves go buzzy. Wish I may, wish I might. Have the wish I wish tonight. Ah, doesn't that feel better? I have fulfilled my contractual obligation. And that's how you play Treasure Troll's Search for the Wish Stones game. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to grant V-Bug's wish by putting away this game. Daddy, look out! Too late! <laughs> what happened? Daddy, can we listen to the latest Pearl Jam album? It's worse than I thought! Professor, what do we do? You fool! You are contaminated! You've unleashed the 90s upon us all! This is the bomb! Oh, Professor! How do we stop it? You must use your treasure troll wish to undone that which you have done. I refuse! Let me retain my dignity! Hurry! I'm missing and living color! Okay. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Tinkle, twinkle, hair so fuzzy. Tinkle, twinkle, bees go buzzy. Wish I may, wish I might. Have this wish I wish tonight. Oh, did it work? Hooray, I'm Generation Z again. Oh, well, thank goodness we're safe. And hey, don't worry, Professor. We'll take better care to prevent this type of thing from happening again in the future. Idiot. Whew, well, for now... I'm just glad we're safe, my dear. I'm just glad we're safe. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. I refuse! Let me have my dignity! Oh. Togs don't work, your hands don't work, what <laughs> no, works? I, I... <laughs> <laughs> Less jerk.